All right, so imagine this. The Project 2025 blueprint is throwing some serious shade into the political landscape. We're talking big moves, like shutting down the Department of Education and cleaning house with mass firings of civil servants. It's like a total makeover for the federal government, and not everyone's feeling it. Now, hold up. There's some buzz around votes comments that suggest Trump's public smackdown of Project 2025 might not be the whole truth. It's like he's playing both sides, showing a more complex strategy than what's on the surface. Who knows what's really going on behind the scenes? As the plot thickens, Christian nationalism steps onto the stage, presented as a cornerstone of American democracy. But hang on a sec, the video flips the script, arguing that it's not a threat at all, and instead showcasing its historical vibes. Sounds like a pretty intense debate, right? Diving deeper, the first phase of Project 2025 rolled out a massive 922-page policy book. Yup, you heard that right. And now the second phase? It's all about crafting super-secret transition plans for federal agencies. These plans are designed to steer the administration's goals like a captain navigating through stormy seas. But wait, there's more. Vote isn't pulling any punches when he talks about diminishing the independence of major agencies like the FBI and DOJ. He claims that holding tight control over these bureaucracies is absolutely crucial for pushing their agenda forward. It even includes a plan to let go of civil servants who won't toe the line. Yikes. And it gets even heavier. The agenda throws out some pretty controversial legal ideas, suggesting the president could actually use military force against protesters. This is a whole strategy to keep law and order during times of civil chaos. Talk about a power play, right? Transitioning to the Trump campaign's latest moves, it looks like they're trying to play damage control while still keeping the inner circle fired up about their policy plans. It's like walking a tightrope, trying to look good in front of the public while making sure their crew stays loyal. Definitely tricky business. Now, Project 2025 isn't just sunshine and rainbows, it's faced some serious heat. The radical proposals stirred up enough criticism that there had to be some changes in leadership within the project. The reactions from the Trump camp and the general public? They show just how heated and contentious these policies truly are. As if the drama wasn't enough, an investigation into Project 2025 dug up some skeletons that have turned into a political liability. This probe shines a spotlight on why transparency and accountability are a must in politics. It's time to hold people accountable for what they're pushing. Speaking of accountability, Project 2025 aims to dodge the blunders of the past Trump administration, promising a smoother ride for conservative policies. With the investigation revealing a detailed pipeline of plans overseen by Rosbo, it's clear they're trying to learn from previous mistakes. But wait, there's even more alarming stuff. The investigation uncovered proposals that scream mass deportations, which are at the core of the GOP's platform. This is a bold move aimed at pushing for a more homogenous culture in the United States. Definitely raises eyebrows. And the plot thickens with international ties. The investigation initially looked towards Europe for populist movement connections, but guess what? It spiraled into a focus on Project 2025 right in the heart of Washington, D.C. Talk about a web of intrigue. Diving into the history of undercover journalism reveals its massive role in exposing serious abuses, like those brutal conditions in a New York sanatorium. And let's not forget about more recent investigations from outlets like CNN that keep pushing the envelope for truth. Now, let's shine a light on how populist movements could impact climate action, and not in a good way. Investigations are zooming in on how these movements might stand in the way of the necessary changes we need to tackle climate change. Definitely an issue we can't overlook. But hold on to your hats because Project 2025 raises big questions about how covert operations mingle with political agendas. How does dark money play into all this? Investigative efforts are pulling back the curtain on hidden connections with major political players. It's a real-life political thriller. And let's not forget the Heritage Foundation, which is like a powerhouse behind Project 2025. They're laying down the framework for conservative policies and backing candidates like J.D. Vance. Their influence in shaping political narratives is nothing short of monumental. But it doesn't stop there. 
This initiative is packing some controversial goals, like a nationwide abortion ban and efforts against marriage equality. It's a hardcore shift towards a more extreme conservative agenda, raising some serious red flags about civil liberties. Wrapping it all up, Russell Vogt's pragmatic approach within the confines of Project 2025 is all about using executive powers to hit those goals. It's a calculated strategy, balancing ambitious dreams with what's viable for elections. Definitely a method to implement policies with some serious thought behind it.